Hello everyone, and welcome back to In a Pinch Hermit Crab Rescue. If you didn't already know, we are a home-based rescue located in Bayport, Minnesota. A link to our Facebook group where you can adopt our Hermes is in the description below. And anyways, let's get started. Alright, so uh, a few days ago, someone messaged asking to rehome hermit crabs. Nothing weird about that. We're a rescue. That's what we do. So yeah. I um, thought it would be like anything else. Anywhere from like one to six hermit crabs is pretty average uh, to be surrendered. Uh, yeah, but so I asked how many they're looking to be home. Uh, yeah, this is where it got a little crazy. They are looking to be home 27 land hermit crabs. Yeah, I have the space, I have the time, I have the supplies, and I have the experience to take them in. So I will. But wow. Oh uh, yeah, they then proceeded to say we could have all the supplies, which I'm quite happy about actually. Um, anything that I don't keep and use, I can sell and all the proceeds would go to the rescue. But yeah, basically we tomorrow are going to pick up a 75 gallon tank and 27 hermit crabs. Then later... She is going to come by with a ton of supplies and a 58-gallon tank. And then even later, she's going to come by with more supplies and a 20-gallon tank, a 28-gallon tank, and a 48-gallon tank. Yeah, that's a lot. Anyways, let me show you what I'm doing the night before to get ready to take in such a large amount of hermit crabs. Alright, so unlike most of the surrenders, I take in hermit crabs quite often, and normally the people just really aren't that helpful. I can understand why, but they just aren't very helpful with coordinating things, or oftentimes they're unwilling to drop them off and want us to go get them, and oftentimes uh, I just simply go to the location they say without knowing whether or not the hermit crabs are healthy or not, or how many. Um, but yeah, this was different. This person was actually extremely helpful, so thank you so much if you're watching this. And she has sent us a ton of pictures and a ton of info on the hermit crabs and what they, how they've been cared for, where she got them, all of this stuff. So luckily I'm able to set up a carrier based off of what she said pretty easily. So according to what she said, some of the hermit crabs are jumbos, which is this size. This is a empty shell, of course. Um, but yeah, so quite large. And some of them are smalls, which is this size. And she said everything else is in between. So yeah, I have a tub here, just like a small uh, latching tub. I'm going to be using as a carrier. I will moisten this, of course. But yeah, I need to gauge how many of these I need. I could need one, I could need two, and could need five. I don't know. So, I've just got a bucket of shells. I also have another uh, that I'll use. And I'm just basically going to count out 27 shells. And Alright, so if I add in, like, a hide and a little bit of foliage per container, the max I could fit is probably, like, 10 hermit crabs per container. Uh, just example here. Uh, by the way, just so you know, I will be misting down the substrate so that it's nice and moist. The lid will be on and I will have heat packs on the sides to keep it uh, humid. But the drive is only 20 minutes, so not too bad. So they won't be in here for long. Also, as I was counting out 27 shells, I realized just how many hermit crabs that is. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be in for quite a bit of chaos. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is 27 shells. But yeah, so I'm going to need three of these containers. This is one. Spray this down real good quick. That should be good. 
don't worry it's not that soaked um yeah it's just the top layer all right all three are set up uh yeah so i just put like a half inch inch de deep layer of eco earth uh yeah and then in this one i have a pretty battered up fake plant um, and then just two coconut hides. I'll probably put these smaller hermit crabs in here because these holes are quite small. Set a little on that one. In this one, I have a, another fake plant and then another coconut hide. This one has a little bigger of a hole. I'll actually add this one in there too. Um, but yeah, same thing with the eagle earth. And this one, you already saw, same thing with the Eco Earth. Then I've got a like reptile rock hide and another fake plant. And once again, now that I'm looking at it, I think I might add another hide in here. Add this, maybe. Actually, I'll leave this one without it because uh, there are some bigger hermit crabs. But yeah, lid on that one. Alright, now all three bins are set up and ready. So now I'll be ready tomorrow to pick up the hermit crabs. I'm going to put these on a heat pad so that they're nice and humid in the morning. And then I will also have hot hands on them in the car ride. Uh, that way they stay nice and warm. As far as actual tank setups go, I'm going to move the six hermit crabs that are currently in this 40 gallon holding tank up to this 30 gallon tall holding tank. Oh gosh, sorry, no, I messed that up. One of the tank sizes we are getting is a 58 gallon tank. I'm going to swap this 30 gallon tall with the 58 gallon and then move the hermit crabs, the six hermit crabs in the holding tank up to the 58 gallon. And then this bottom tank is going to be a quarantine tank, and all four bottom uh, 10 gallons are going to be quarantine tanks. Once quarantine is over, then I will move uh, them and spread them out evenly throughout this tank, this tank. And I'm still not completely sure on how many are what size. And so once I find that out, I might need to use another tank, like a 48 gallon, something like that. And also do uh like another holding tank but yeah i already have some potential adopters so yeah if you're looking to adopt one or more of these hermit crabs please look in the description down below where i will have a link to our facebook group there all of the hermit crabs will be up for adoption and basically you will comment down below on one of the posts I will then PM you with a adoption application. You fill that out as long as everything checks out. Then we can schedule a day for you to pick them up. Once again, that is in Bayport, Minnesota. And all these Hermes will most likely be up for adoption for $15 each. Unless I find out there's some sort of special case where they need rehabilitation or something different. But yeah, since I don't yet have the 58 gallon, I can't show that bit today, but yeah. If you're wondering what's going to happen to the 30 gallon, that's actually going to be my mouse tank. Just like this one here. Quick disclaimer, I know they need six inches of bedding. These are spiny mice, not normal mice. And their care is different. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.